This video will demonstrate the proper steps necessary to replace a Dometic manual awning with a Solera 18 volt power awning. To begin, you'll need the following tools for the installation. An assistant, cordless or electric drill or screw gun, appropriate drive and drill bits, socket wrench, 7 16 inch socket, rivet gun, ladder, silicone sealant, and a non-permanent method of marking. First, unlock the travel locks. Move the cam lock to the rollout position and extend the awning about 12 inches. Insert a cotter pin into the end cap at each end of the awning. Starting on the drive side of the awning and with an assistant holding the roll tube, use a 7 16 inch socket to remove the bolt securing the drive head to the support arm. Separate the drive head from the support arm and secure the support arm to the unit in the travel position. Next, remove the fasteners from the upper mounting bracket of the support arm assembly. Then, detach the support arm assembly from the lower mounting bracket. Remove the fasteners from the lower mounting bracket of the support arm assembly. Discard the mounting bracket. With your assistant having a firm grip on the roll tube, take a firm hold of the drive head with a pair of locking pliers. Remove the cotter pin from the end cap and move the cam lock to the roll-up position. Slowly release all of the tension by rotating the drive head with the locking pliers. Using an appropriately sized drill bit, drill out the rivet securing the end cap to the roll tube. Remove the end cap and spring assembly from the roll tube. Now place the Solera end cap on the end of the roll tube, making sure it is properly seated and the roll tube channel is aligned with the channel on the end cap. Secure the Solera end cap to the roll tube with the provided rivets. Pull the cotter pin from the idler side end cap, making sure to keep a firm hold on the roll tube to avoid injury or damage to the unit. Pulling the cotter pin allows the roll tube to turn for easier installation of the drive head. Now, insert the Solera drive head assembly shaft into the end cap. When determining the drive head assembly from the idler head assembly, the drive head assembly will have an override plug while the idler assembly will not. Next, align the holes from the shaft on the head of the end cap and secure with the provided number 8 32 by half inch wax screw. Place the drive support arm assembly directly under the awning rail so the top of the mount arm is touching the bottom of the rail. Slide the drive support arm assembly outward to align below the holes of the awning previously removed before securing the upper bracket. Secure the upper section of the drive mount arm to the unit with the provided number 14 by 1 and a quarter inch screws, aligned directly below the holes of the awning removed. Reinstall the cotter pin to the idler side end cap. To properly align the hole from the cotter pin, it may be necessary to slightly move the awning in or out using the extend retract switch. Please note that because the converted awning is approximately two inches wider than the previous awning, the support arm assembly on the idler side will not align with the previous holes. Also, the idler head does not have a cam lock and therefore the cotter pin is holding all of the tension of the spring assembly. Also be sure to handle with care and always have a secure hold of the idler head. Now repeat all of the previous steps for the idler side of the awning, skipping all cam lock instructions. Once the drive and idler side conversions are complete, cut the nylon ties containing the support arm assemblies. Use the operation switch at the bottom of the drive arm assembly to fully extend the awning. Remove the manual pull strap from the roll tube. Please note that the drive arm's battery may not be charged. If not, plug the battery wires into the charger and then the charger into a 110 volt outlet. The awning should become operational within 5 minutes of being plugged in. Next, remove the wire covers to expose the lower and middle sections of the mount arm. Secure the lower and middle sections of the drive mount arm to the unit with the provided number 14 by 1 and a quarter inch screws or rivets. Make sure the arms are square to the unit. Please note that for units with fiberglass sidewalls, LCI requires the use of rivets for securing the lower and middle sections of the mount arm. Also, all screws supporting the awning assembly must have a backer within the structure of the wall of the unit. Repeat the same steps for the idler mount arm as well. Then, replace the wire covers. If you have any questions about the installation process, please call 574-537-8900 for more assistance. And thanks for watching.